Another week in June leads to another edition of our To The Point Hall of Fame series podcast here on the Tarleton Sports Network. Today, we're joined by not one, but a two-sport athlete who thrived. It is Colette Johnson, a member of both Lon Reisman's basketball team and a member of the Tarleton track and field squad. CJ, thank you so much for giving us the time. As a lot of people know, last year was when we announced you were going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. We get to properly honor you now at the dinner later in June. But I got to ask, what was going through your head? when you initially got that call that you were going to get inducted into the Tarleton Hall of Fame? Um, I got the call from Coach Reisman, and it was a very exciting time. I was at work, and honestly, I wasn't expecting it because I got a um, couple of players that came after me that was inducted into the Hall of Fame, so it was totally unexpected. So um, once I got that call, um, I was overcome with joy. Uh, I think good news always sounds a little better coming from Coach Reisman. So yeah. that's that's <laughs> nice. I can only imagine. Uh, catch us up, CJ. What have you been up to since you left Stephenville and uh, hung it up in basketball and track? Um, when I left Stephenville, I became a parole officer for five years. And um, I left that career. And now I'm a full-time firefighter for the city of Dallas. Um, right now I'm a driver engineer for the um, fire department. One thing I got to ask, and it was something we spoke about a minute ago, you talked about the diverse backgrounds of all the guys at your station where you work now, and you were a criminal justice major while you were here at Tarleton. I'm sure at the time you weren't thinking it was going to take you the fire route, but but just talk about that and kind of how your career has changed and kind of, even if it's not in a direct way, how you kind of leaned on your Tarleton education a little bit. Well, yeah, when I first came to Tarleton, um, I started off as a nursing major, but um between basketball and me trying to adjust to the student life, um, my grades kind of dropped. So I had to switch levels and change to criminal justice. But um, um, moving into criminal justice and the fire department, it's two different, two different scenarios. Um, one in policing and par dealing with parolees, um, you kind of deal with crowds that haven't always been on the up and up. Um, in the fire service, we're able to help people. Um, because of the city of Dallas, we have to be firefighters as well as paramedics. So it allows us to help those that are sick as well as those that may um, be in trouble because of a fire. We're going to touch on both of uh, your careers here, both your basketball and your track career here, uh, Colette. And you have such a decorated four years you spent here in Steam. We look on the basketball side of things, LSC South Division uh, defensive player of the year in your time, second all time in steals in program history. I think if I read it right, there are 720 rebound games in Tarleton basketball history. You've got three of those, brother. That's impressive. <laughs> take, take us through your basketball career. What, what is your maybe your favorite memory or just maybe your favorite thing that you that you lean on when you think back to Tarleton basketball? Um, my favorite thing would be the, the team. Um, since I started there as a freshman all the way through uh, my senior year, we always had great teams. Um, and that's not just on the basketball side. I mean that as um, the people that Coach Reisman and Coach Hooten and all those guys brought in, it was high caliber people, um, not just on the basketball side, but as well as the, the side as being a person um, outside of basketball. So I, I got to ask, and, and you, once again, you were as decorated on the track as you were on the basketball floor, 2000 Division II national champion in high jump, three-time All-American in the high jump. I'm going to put you on the spot, CJ. Were you a basketball player running track, or are you a track guy that was actually just playing basketball? Um, I was a basketball guy trying to get out of running for Coach Reisman going to track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but um, I started doing high jump in um, the eighth grade, but back then they didn't have coaches to teach you how to jump. So I missed the mat one day and hurt my back. So I hung it up till my senior year of um, high school. And um, the coach after basketball season wanted me to come out to track and he wanted me to do triple jump. And I did okay in that. And I was like, um, I'm not good at this. Can I go do high jump? And I went over and I won. So I stuck with it and I made it to state my senior year. And once I got to college, I figured I would try it there as well. 
I think it was a good decision, CJ, when you look at the way it played out on the uh, Tarleton track squad. I talked with the vice president of intercollegiate athletics, Lon Reisman, who was your coach with the men's basketball team. And, and I was chatting with him, just a common conversation, asking him about two sport athletes, kind of how do you make that work? Have you had any here? And he brought you up and he brought up your success on both. But really, it wasn't necessarily your ability that he pointed out. He said you had a high IQ in, in both and that you knew how to balance both. And that that's the key to it, really, when you're talented at two things. What was your secret, uh, kind of finding the balance between both and really being able to prioritize both while not leaving one or the other behind? Um, I don't know how I balanced it technically um, because during track season, I would always have that urge to want to go play basketball. So it was kind of difficult, but um, Coach Reisman allowed me to go run track, and um, my track coach, he, he was the one who – you may be a jumper or you may be a thrower, but you're going to run. So even though I thought I was getting out of running, I still had to run during track practice. So um, that helped me transition to from basketball to being a high jumper um, because you have to jump in basketball and able to jump in high jump. So that helped me out. Yeah, I love it because you go over here in Wisdom Gym, there's always a basketball going, coaches or not. It's a way of life for these kids that have come here to play basketball. As you're hearing from one of the best that's ever done it on the hardwood and the track here at Tarleton, Colette Johnson, who will be one of the four members inducted into the Tarleton Hall of Fame. I want to remind everybody, for the first time this year, it will be Hall of Fame weekend for Tarleton Sports uh, for the weekend of the Hall of Fame dinner. We'll have the Plowboy Shootout on June 25th. Be sure to go to tarletonsports.com backslash Plowboy Shootout for all your information over that. And then we're going to honor Colette and then his other three members of the Hall of Fame class on the 26th at our dinner. Derek Ross, Jerry Doyle, and Carla Cooper will join him on the stage to accept their awards. Go to tarletonsports.com backslash tickets to get your ticket to your Hall of Fame dinner. As you're hearing from one of those four, Colette Johnson standing out on both the track and the basketball floor. And Colette, you've talked in this time. It seems like you really cherish your time here at Tarleton State. It was a valuable four years for you, set you up for the rest of your life. What do you miss most about being here in Stephenville? Um, I actually missed uh, my teammates and uh, playing basketball. I wish I could get an extra year of eligibility. <laughs> I think Billy Gillespie would take you. I said, with that rebounding prowess, I think they're taking all the help they can get in the low <laughs> block. It's a tough game down there in the post. Um, we look at the future of Tarleton Athletics, and it's changed so much since you were in school here in Stephenville back in the late 90s, early 2000s, now a member of NCAA Division I, the Western Athletic Conference. Colette, when you look at both the basketball and the track programs, how do you see it really coming to their advantage, and how do you see them growing with this expansion? Um, I think this expansion is actually very good. Um, I think it's going to allow us to get more athletes into the program um, that probably didn't look at Tarleton before. Uh, maybe because they thought it might have not have been a powerhouse or a Division I caliber. But uh, we've always had the talent to compete with Division I players. Um, so I think this is a great move for um, basketball and track as well as the other sports and for the school. Um, so I think it's going to work out great. Big thing about the track guys after they get out, they want to stay in shape. And I know you're doing that at the fire station, so I don't have to ask about that. But, Colin, I got to ask you, tell me, you get that itch to want to play. Are you hooping it all these days and you, you got a spot you go where you get buckets up? Uh, um, I have a son. He's 12. So now that um, he's in basketball, um, now I'm picking it back up a little bit more. So I have to let him know I can still dunk on him. So uh, <laughs> we pick up the ball pretty much. He loves to play all day. So I just have to remind him, hey, let's do some schoolwork and then we'll go shoot some baskets. So, there you uh, go. yeah, we're definitely getting some shots up. You got 1v1 on deck whenever you want it with the youngster <laughs> yes. there. I like it. Uh, yeah. Colette, as we wrap it up here, man, I got to ask, you know, like I said, it seems like you really cherish, cherish your time here and you seem excited to come back. What excites you most about getting back on campus at the Hall of Fame dinner and getting to see everybody again? Um, I would like to see the new campus and the new changes that have been done, um, as well as I look forward to having my plaque on that wall because um, every time we used to come play um, our games, we would pass that wall to go to the locker room. So um, it'll be amazing to see my picture up there as one of the other people. Hey, it's a different time now. You helped set the sound. You helped set the foundation, though, uh, Colette. Thank you for giving me the time here, and I look forward to seeing you at the end of the month at dinner. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.
Collett Johnson, one of the best to do it on both Tarleton basketball and Tarleton track and field, three-time All-American in the high jump, and then he did just about everything defensively for Lon Reisman during his time here at Tarleton. We want to thank our friends at the Edge Apartments for bringing us another exciting edition of To The Point. Be sure to follow Tarleton Sports on Twitter, Instagram, at Facebook at Tarleton Sports. That's going to wrap it up here on To The Point. For Collett Johnson, this is Kyle Cruz saying so long.